In that previous video, Neil deGrasse Tyson, who is a really famous astrophysicist, one of my favorite scientists, uh, talked about curiosity and using science to empower your decision making. So in our science class, that's going to be our goal. Our goal is not to memorize facts uh, and just be able to recite them over and over. Our goal is to explore the science about how we go about learning them. Our goal is to be able to approach problems with a scientific mindset, whether they seem like a scientific problem or not. So I don't really care if you leave this class wondering like the difference between a convergent and divergent boundary and trying to memorize exactly what they mean. I more care about leaving this class. When you look at a mountain, you say, hmm, I wonder like how that mountain was created. What can I do to investigate that? Why are there a whole bunch of earthquakes in this place where there's a whole bunch of mountains? Could that be related? And investigating those facts through a scientific method. That's what we're going to focus on a lot this year. That's what you've probably focused on a lot last year, especially if you had Miss Stelling. And that's what I really want to highlight. Not just right or wrong, memorizing facts, but looking at things through a scientific mindset. Science is about fact over opinion. This is something we're in the midst of right now all over the world. We have a global pandemic where we have scientific facts that can help us get over that. We have problems like global warming where the climate is increasing. The temperatures around the world and in the oceans are increasing and we have facts, we have data to prove that and it's how we use that data. That is our science and we can use it to make those decisions. So right now, what I want to highlight really is that our goal and when we're in this science class is not just about the facts and getting them right or wrong, memorizing them, reciting them. It's about how we approach problems. On the next slide, we're going to look at fact versus opinion. So when we talk about fact and opinion, a fact is something that we have evidence for, a lot of evidence for, we can repeat that evidence, and we have data for it. So a fact is something that is true. Whether or not you believe it, a fact is true. Opinion is something that you may just believe yourself and you don't have any evidence, you don't need any evidence, you don't need any data. An opinion would be like saying that, you know, ranch Doritos are better than nacho cheese Doritos. That would be an opinion. A fact would be like, you know, Doritos have 120 calories per small serving. That would be a fact because we have data, we have evidence, we can test that. And every time we test it, we'll get the same results over and over. That same scientist you just watched a video with, Neil deGrasse Tyson, has one of my favorite quotes about science, that the great thing about science is that it's true whether you believe it or not. So that's what we're going to learn when we do all these scientific tests, that if you can repeat the results, then you have data, you have evidence to support it, you have scientific fact. Go ahead on the next page and you're going to match up some statements with fact or opinion. You need to read each one really carefully and decide which statement it should go with, fact or opinion. And as you go through this class, I want you to really remember that our goal in this class and what science should mean to us in this class is not so much the end result, not so much what you put on your paper or your test, but how we're actually getting there and the process we go through to find that evidence and to draw our conclusions.